The business of business should not be about money. It should be about responsibility. It should be about public good, not private greed. If you think you're too small to have an impact, try going to bed with a mosquito. Be courageous. It's one of the only places left uncrowded. To succeed you have to believe in something with such a passion that it becomes a reality. Never feel too small or powerless to make a difference. If you do things well, do them better. Be daring, be first, be different, be just. You have to look at leadership through the eyes of the followers and you have to live the message. What I have learned is that people become motivated when you guide them to the source of their own power and when you make heroes out of employees who personify what you want to see in the organization. Get informed. Get outraged. Get inspired. Get active. Whatever you do, be different, that was the advice my mother gave me, and I can't think of better advice for an entrepreneur. If you're different, you will stand out. First, you have to have fun. Second, you have to put love where your labor is. Third, you have to go in the opposite direction to everyone else. My passionate belief is that business can be fun, it can be conducted with love and a powerful force for good. Speed, agility and responsiveness are the keys to future success. I want to work for a company that contributes to and is part of the community. I want something not just to invest in. I want something to believe in. I have always found that my view of success has been iconoclastic, success to me is not about money or status or fame, it's about finding a livelihood that brings me joy and self-sufficiency and a sense of contributing to the world. Three components make an entrepreneur, the person, the idea, and the resources to make it happen. You persuade people with passion, so you've got to have a product or service you feel emotionally charged about. Then you can tell stories about it that will inspire others. Be daring. Be first. Be different. If you really didn't ever want to get wrinkles, then you should have stopped smiling years ago. We entrepreneurs are loners, vagabonds, troublemakers. Success is simply a matter of finding and surrounding ourselves with those open-minded and clever souls who can take our insanity and put it to good use. Whatever you do, be different. If you're different, you will stand out. By creating conversation, we let our customers spread our message by word of mouth. I have no interest in being the biggest, the most profitable or the largest retailer. I just want the body shop to be the best, most breathlessly exciting company and one that changes the way business is carried out. I think it is completely immoral for a shop to trade in the middle of a community, to take money and make profits from that community and then ignore the existence of that community, its needs and problems. I believe in businesses where you engage in creative thinking, and where you form some of your deepest relationships. If it isn't about the production of the human spirit, we are in big trouble. There are 3 billion women in the world who don't look like supermodels and only 8 that do. I can't bear to be around people who are bland, bored, or uninterested, or to employ them. Make heroes out of the employees who personify what you want to see in the organization. A woman in advancing old age is unstoppable by any earthly force. I love it. We communicate with passion and passion persuades. Creativity comes by breaking the rules, by saying that you're in love with the anarchist. It is true that there is a fine line between entrepreneurship and insanity. 
Crazy people see and feel things that others don't. But you have to believe that everything is possible. If you believe it, those around you will believe it too. To run this business, you need optimism, humanism, enthusiasm, intuition, curiosity, love, humor, magic, and fun. If you don't believe one person can make a difference, you have never been in bed with a mosquito. A vision is something you see, and others don't. Some people would say that's a pocket definition of lunacy. But it also defines entrepreneurial spirit. The end result of kindness is that it draws people to you. Every time you buy something consider it a vote of confidence in the company that produced it. Being good is good business. If I had to choose my driving force, it would be passion. You educate people, especially young people, by stirring their passions, so you take every opportunity to grab the imagination of your employees, you get them to feel they are doing something important, that they are not a lone voice, that they are the most powerful and potent people on the planet. Entrepreneurs are visionaries, they see things other people don't see. There are only two ways of making money, the hard way and the very hard way. Be special. Be anything but mediocre. I think that business practices would improve immeasurably if they were guided by feminine principles, qualities like love, care, and intuition. There is no scientific answer for success. You can't define it. You've simply got to live it and do it. The key to handling problems and conflict within an organization is to keep the channels of communication wide open. Quite apart from anything else, my experience is trying to change things for the better makes you feel better, healthier. Humans are communicative animals, when you do good in a community, the benefits eventually get back to you. Mess with nature and it will mess right back. People I work with are open to leadership that has a vision, but this vision has to be communicated clearly and persuasively, and always, always with passion. If I had to name a driving force in my life, I would name passion every time. My mother's bottom line was truth to her values. It meant bringing your heart and your humanity to work. For me, campaigning and good business is also about putting forward solutions, not just opposing destructive practices or human rights abuses. A sense of outrage is essential for the entrepreneurial spirit. I think discontentment drives you to want to do something about it. And my outrage came very early on. Running a company on market research is like driving while looking in the rearview mirror. Communication is the key for any global business. I'd have opened a library if I'd wanted to be quiet. You've got to be hungry for ideas to make things happen and to see your vision made into reality. Business is not financial science, it's about trading, buying and selling. It's about creating a product or service so good that people will pay for it. Women want to be free to choose from the same range of options that men take for granted. In our quest for equal pay, equal access to education and opportunities, we have made great strides. But until women can move freely and think freely in their homes, on the streets, in the workplace without the fear of violence, there can be no real freedom. The function of wealth is not to accumulate it but to give it away as productively and responsibly as you can. I'm an activist and I come from a very socialist background. For me, my thinking was formed by great thought leaders. And wealth preserving wasn't part of my thinking. 
Nobody talks of entrepreneurship as survival, but that's exactly what it is and what nurtures creative thinking. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.